A rectangle has an area of 2 square feet. If the length of the rectangle is 4 fifths of a foot, what is the width of the rectangle? Express your answer as an improper fraction in lowest terms. So this problem gives us the length of the rectangle, which is 4 fifths. And we have to figure out what the width of that rectangle is. So when we multiply that width by the given length of 4 fifths, that will give us a result of 2 square feet. One way to solve this problem is to set this up in a more algebraic manner. We could write this as 4 fifths w, which is 4 fifths times the width, will be equal to 2. So what we have here is an algebraic equation, and the w has a coefficient of 4 fifths. And what we want to do is get the w by itself, so at the end it will say w equals whatever that value is. And to get rid of a coefficient, all you have to do is multiply the coefficient by its own reciprocal. So we're going to take 4 fifths and multiply it by 5 quarters. And we are going to do the same thing to the opposite side as well. So we're going to take 2 and express it as a fraction, which is 2 over 1, and multiply it by 5 quarters like we did on the other side. So on this side, the 5's will cancel, the 4's will cancel, leaving us only with the w. And on the right hand side, we have 2 times 5 as our numerator, which is 10. And we have 1 times 4 for the denominator, which is 4. And because the numerator and denominator are both even, we can just break both of those values in half. And that will equal 5 over 2. And because the problem wanted us to state our answer as an improper fraction, we have came to our final result. Now let's take this result and just put it back into our original problem to see if it would give us 2. So we're going to take 4 fifths and multiply it by 5 halves. And if we multiply the numerators of 4 and 5, that would give us 20. And multiplying the denominators of 5 and 2, that would give us a product of 10. And 20 over 10, or 20 divided by 10, would give us 2. So we have plugged in our answer and verified our results. We could say that the width of this rectangle would be equal to 5 halves. Now another way of doing this problem is to understand that when you are multiplying two numbers and one of the numbers or factors is missing, but you are given the answer, you can do the reverse, which is to divide to find the unknown value. So what we could do is take the answer of 2 square feet and divide that by the given dimension of 4 fifths to figure out what the missing width is. So now that we set up the problem as 2 divided by 4 fifths, we can rewrite this whole number as a fraction. So we write 2 as 2 over 1, and then we multiply by the reciprocal of 4 fifths, which is 5 quarters. Next, we can multiply the numerators together. 2 times 5 is 10, and then multiply the denominators together. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. And because both values are even, we can break both of those in half to reduce. And half of 10 is 5, and half of 4 is 2. So by using this strategy, we also come up with an answer of 5 halves.